All right, everybody. It's good to see you again. Welcome back to another episode of Parker and Pals. We're here about to watch the brand new Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 sneak peek. I'm excited. I've already watched it three times, but this is still technically a cold reaction just because I'm so blown away by it every time. You won't miss a single drop of excitement, so let's get right into it. We see the tunnel starting off, and you can just hear that music in the background. Oh, spacesuits for emergency. More fun. Classic Guardians of the Galaxy vibe right there. And who's that we see? Drats. Gamora. They're really playing it up this time. I think that this is going to be a good one. This summer, oh my goodness, it's so fast already. Ah, ah, and there's a sword and, and bodies and oh my god, can you believe who's that? I don't know, I've never read the comics, but the galaxy uh, won't save itself. That's right. What are you doing? What I'm I'm making a guys, I'm trying to make a video for my channel. This is not your channel. What do you mean? I've got Park Grand Pals. It's alliteration. I've got the whole... And then I'm going to be... Look, I thought you guys were okay with this. We had it planned out. I would do it here, and then when the video came out, we would do our thing, and I had the swordfish, passcode, all yeah, of that stuff. Yes, but what we're doing now is not reacting to movie trailers. That's not what this is. This is going to be a Ruby reaction. Oh, okay. Well, that's even better. All right. Let's go. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello everybody. Welcome back to the couch. Welcome back to your satisfying crunch. Welcome, and welcome back, back to, to the pals. Ruby Volume 4. Don't talk about my pals. You're the one who left them all at our house while you went off to So, college. we're going back into Ruby Volume 4, Episode 2. We're loading it up right now. Nasty Ombres number 71. When you say it like that, it sounds really dirty. <laughs> I didn't realize we were at a presidential rally. <laughs> nope, all it takes. How do I do this? All right, let's see. Full screen? Does that work? We've got the uh, ominous floating hand. Right. Somebody complained about me using the controller. So you got a remote? So I got a remote, and the remote is really just not working that well. It's not doing what I want. I do actually watch television on my console. I do internet stuff on my console. I know that that upsets people. I know that people think that that is a bad thing. Should I put that in trademarks? Trademarks? Yes, yeah, put it in trademark. trademarks. With the little, you know, oh, copyright bad, and bundle. Bad thing, yeah. TM. With little bad thing, TM. Yeah. Wait, no, you can't Good do things. that. Because Watching TV. Because bad I things. do that, and if you do that, I can't do oh. that anymore. Oh, am I? Oh, wait, I'm not logged into my Rooster Teeth account. No wonder we're not seeing anything. All right, so we're going to log into the Rooster Teeth account here. Um, gonna type in all the letters. How else would I do it? <laughs> this is gonna take a while. You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> take even longer. Edit yeah. this part out. <laughs> Swordfish! <laughs> <laughs> wow, I have a really long email address. <laughs> Speaking of which, if you guys would like to contact us, send us a message, you can do so at Storytime with Alex at gmail.com. It's which, a lot faster when which, you say it. Yeah, it's, it's a lot faster for me to say it than it is for me to pick it. See, now I understand why I'm not supposed to be doing this on a console. All right. Uh, the password for the account is none of your damn business. Um, 0357. 0357. <laughs> Um, all of the eyes are capitalized. <laughs> There's just one eye. No. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh. Can you not use the uh, confetti? Isn't, isn't the thing in the middle supposed to be? Yeah. Wait, that doesn't have the dot com. Uh, says it's doing stuff, but it's not. That was not your pal. That could be your pal. Yeah. Pat, and then you stuck it up my nostril. Yeah, that's what happens. I lied. 
gotta, gotta be down because I want it all. Started out with a kiss. How did it end up like this? It was only a kiss. It was only a kiss. Just a kiss. Just a kiss. Kiss, kiss, fall in love. All I want to do is and I'm taking money. And I chime in with a Haven't you people ever heard of Closing the door? No, it's much better Um, I don't know, it looks like the website might be broken About it tonight, I didn't. I didn't get the hint. You just kept slapping my hand. I, I didn't. I didn't realize what that meant. I can't yes, speak you Morse. Did. You knew exactly what it meant, and you were purposefully choosing. Slap <laughs> 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 <not> your leg. <laughs> Here. Well, while I'm waiting for this. No! It's <laughs> my hair. Does that make it better? Do you want to turn the camera off? Let's see if I can balance a round oh. thing on a round head. Alright, got it figured out, got it queued up, we're ready to go. Let's watch some Ruby. Alright, um, do we want to talk about, uh, do we want to talk about any predictions or any things for this episode? Uh, uh, you weren't here last episode, thoughts, comments, snide remarks? Nothing that hasn't been said. I saw you guys' reaction, I'm pretty much along the same lines. Alright. Um, so, here we go. I'm guessing... I think I've already said my main theory. Yeah, I'm gonna guess the that... The moon is a grim egg. The moon, the moon is a grim egg. I'm gonna get okay. a t-shirt that says that. Um, I would wear it. I'm gonna put out a... Uh, I, I think I'm gonna go out on a, on a limb here. And the first episode that we saw was uh, Ruby. Uh, was Team um, Orange. <laughs> uh, concentrated. It was concentrated orange. <laughs> I just made that up because I'm so funny. R R N J. Yeah. Yes, uh, this one and is probably going to be Weiss, and then yeah. we'll see one that's Blake, Weiss. and we'll see one that's uh, Yang. Mm -hmm. And if we, it, it would be interesting if that was a a, a a cycle, a cycle, I would like to see that. All right, uh, I have no idea how long this episode was. Did you say fifteen minutes? Fifteen minutes. All right. You know what? We wasted a lot of time on the intro. Uh, let me reset the camera and right. we'll jump right into it. Like this. All right, this. let's go. And there's Weiss. Ah, that was right. I think it's interesting that she's lounging in heels. Huh. I think it's interesting that they have a symbol of the Ouroboros. Ouroboros. Well, no, that snake there. Um, I'm glad to see you out of your room for a change. Hello, Whitley. You're not cheering you today. Find me crepes for breakfast. What do you want? I heard Father shouting with someone in his study earlier. Mother? No, she's already drinking in the garden. <laughs> Huh. I think it was a man. I just wanted to warn you. I heard he had asked to speak with you. I'll be fine. I know you will. You're strong, like Winter. You've never liked Winter. True. <laughs> but you can't deny her resolve. <laughs> you seem different. And you've been gone. I'll have you know I didn't stop growing while you were away at Beacon. 
Yeah. Anyway, good luck with father. Of course, the implication is that he doesn't like Wee either. Thank you. Sorry, wife. Okay, was you it better just wise weird? Did he seem weird? He yeah, seemed he weird. seemed really off. Janet Vice. Ooh, okay. And we get so the Vice family. The gotcha. I wasn't well, sure the if they were going to pull any yeah. other surprise siblings. I think that's a really good observation. Yeah. Oh. Ah, ha, ha. What? That. Okay. That's exciting. Well, I thought it was going to be she would be talking to Jean. She was trying to get to Jean. She was saying Jean. Oh. Maybe if it was Team Junior, then she would have gone to him instead of <laughs> this team, team Ranger. We're not lost. Totally called Next time is Sheena. Yeah. My family used to visit it all the time. Oh, yeah. Don't you have, like, four sisters? Seven. Yeah, seven. <laughs> You know, Dwarves? I like a lot. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? So, <laughs> what did you guys do there? Oh, all sorts of stuff. Over here is a great hiking trail, and over here is where we went camping all the time. I got my own tent because I was special. <laughs> also, so my sisters would stop braiding my hair. Do you <laughs> like the look? Yeah, they just kept doing pigtails, but personally I think I'm more of a warrior's wolf tail kind of guy. That's just a ponytail. I stand by what I said. <laughs> Why is the sky so gray? Why? Because it's ominous. Because there's smoke. Uh oh. Ooh. symbol for him. I... That is a load of garbage and you know it. I beg your pardon. Shock, will you please just oh. hear me out? You are a trusted friend and ally to this family, James. But what you're suggesting is absurd. You are blowing it out of proportion. The council will never agree to it. You forget, I hold two seats on the council. Your dust embargo has already cost me millions. I can promise you I have not forgotten. So this is about you. Vishni, my apologies. I should have been gone for now. It, it's okay. We'll continue this at another time. Oh. Indeed. Clyde can show you out. <laughs> Don't worry, I know the way. I've been shown the door at all times. Until next time, John. Please know, you'll always have a home at Atlas Academy, Vishni. We'll be back in session before you know it. Told you it was good. Did you forget your manners while you were away? 
<laughs> I like that little... Mm. No, Father. I'm sorry. Okay, the hinge is on Can the inside of the door. Can you believe there are the still people out. in the world that blame Atlas for what happened to Beacon? To Veil? Well, they weren't there. To wonder Ironwood wasn't stripped of his rank. I suppose the Council trusts him. For better or worse. I trust him. Thanks to him, Atlas is forbidden from exporting dust to other kingdoms. A precautionary measure, as he puts it. Until we're certain no one is going to declare war. How anyone could possibly find that to be sound logic is beyond me. Which is why the Schnee Dust Company will be holding a charity concert in the coming weeks. We need to show the people of Remnant that we are on their side. That we are all victims of the fall of Beacon. That's wonderful news. I know. And I think it would make a lot of people happy if you performed at the event. Excuse me? Many forget that you were there. My own daughter, Ashni, on the grounds defending another kingdom. We need to remind them. And we need to show them that the Shni family is just as strong as ever. You Are know, you asking me if I'd like to sing red. or telling me? I think it would make a lot of people have a handkerchief before she had a red. Yeah. And, and even I'll start practicing. Red. That's my girl. Hot coffee, Miss me. I always find he keeps his oh. study dreadfully cold. Related? Uh, yeah. Thank you, Klein. Have to be. Same Isn't hair color, classic. same freckles. I think it's to balance out all his hot air. <laughs> Klein? Got the will of the wisps. Yeah. Yeah. This glowing... almost reminds me of the Pat Patronus scene. When and... glowing lights tell you to follow them. Right. Um, Actually, I was thinking that it reminded me of the um, uh, um, I can't remember it now. Oh. Forget Go. to keep your front foot forward. Again. And again. That was a really good cinematic setup. Perfect. 
Don't forget to keep your front foot forward. Ready? Go. Again. And again. I like that yeah. position. The supernatural and then the, mm -hmm. the mental explanation. I really like that. I think it was cleverly done. Yeah, I think... Oh? Ah, so we get uh, character... Th oh no, he's not wearing red either. I, I thought he had a red tie or a red something, but I guess I was wrong about that. Hmm. I think that, I, I do think the color schemes are important. I think that's, yeah. that's something we need to, to look at and be aware of. No. Mm. Um, I, I have to admit the, uh, the the scene with Jean and Pira was a, a, a yeah. very I emotional. Think it was set up really well, and I think yeah. it was very touching. I think it was theory. very well done. Theory. Um, the voices thing is going to be part of John's semblance. Okay. In that he can speak to dead people. Maybe. Hmm. No. I, I, I think that Pira, or the ghost of Pira, or the specter of Pira, or John's remembrance, remembrance of Pira will be uh, crucial in yeah. John unlocking his aura, but I don't know that the, hearing the voice, hearing her voice, will be part of his aura, or his semblance, sorry. Yeah. He's already um, got his aura. I think, I think that um, the whole Will of the Wisp, you know, follow me into the woods. I think that was a really good setup, but I think that the mundane explanation is only part of it. I oh, think yeah. that oh, yeah, Pira yeah, is yeah. Yeah. there in well, well, that's the thing is, it's it's that's that's a really well done transition and really well done. Uh, I won't say fake out, but it's that thing, and it gives you it gives you that possibility of the supernatural and that possibility of the mm -hmm. not supernatural. And it sets up for him to say, I hear her voice, and to have other people be able to either believe in that or disbelieve in that. Well, I hear, I think that it's Pira talking to Ruby. What I'm, what, what I'm saying is I don't think Ruby hearing Pyrrha's voice is just hearing it on the communicator. Right, I, I agree think, with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I, what I'm saying is the way that they presented it allows yes. allows for the possibility yeah. either way, that she could just be crazy or she could just be... So she could actually be hearing that or she could be imagining it. I think it, it, can, or, it can come to a point where, you know, one of them admits that they, they're right. hearing Pyrrha and two of them are like, so Ren and Nora, I would assume, yeah. are like, yeah, it's okay, you know, battle fatigue, we all miss her. Mm -hmm. And then either Jean or Ruby, whoever's the one that didn't confess, comes forward and is like, no, I'm hearing it too. Yeah. So I, I'm um, sorry, go um, ahead. Um, Maiden's power transfers to the last person they were thinking about, and Ruby got up there right as Pyrrha died, and Pyrrha didn't have the maiden's power, it got, but she had like started the transfer or something, so yeah. there might have been. So that's her and connection so to Ruby. And so that's how they're connected because she was okay. thinking that's, about Ruby, and then. Yeah, that's that's a very that's a very plausible explanation um, for a uh, supernatural uh, yeah phenomena. phenomena. Um, so phenomena. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, oh, well, there were a lot of other things that happened in the episode. Oh, yes. Uh, we got the we got the butler who really called back to the boy on the farm. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. And the there's, same... there's the old trope with the distant father, close mm -hmm. butler, mm -hmm. where you know I I'm my my father's daughter, but I was raised by the butlers. Right. And so we set up uh, Weiss's brother Whitley. Um, oh, oh, as... is Klein the cake butler? No, I think he's the coffee butler. <laughs> he's the coffee butler. All right. Um, I think that's a good place to end it. Yeah. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, we enjoy having all of you in our extended family. And until next time. There's always, always room, room on, on the couch. couch. Scooch your meat. Uh.
Oh, okay. <laughs> Wrong one! <laughs>